personal fitness trainer. Hey guys, today we're gonna do a workout that's for your shoulders. And I know you like those buff, broad shoulders, and that's what it'll do for you because it's gonna build the muscle there. And that's gonna make you look broader and be broader. And if you're not feeling so motivated, let me get you pumped up a little bit because it's true. I always say in all my videos that when you don't feel like exercising and if you can get yourself to do it anyway, you are going to release those feel-good hormones. And what it does, it decreases the stress hormones in your body when you feel stressed. Uh, such as cortisol. And what it does do, instead, it increases endorphins. And those are feel-good chemicals in your body. So what exercise does is it boosts your mood naturally. And that's why I love exercise. Gosh, if I have a real stressful day, I can't wait till I can work out because I know it's gonna elevate my mood and it's gonna de-stress me. And at the same time, I'm getting healthy and fit. So keep all that in mind. I know you can do it. So I need you to get your workout gear on and we're gonna start a shoulder exercise. Hey guys, our shoulders are very precious and we don't want to have any injury. So, it's really important for you to do warm-up exercises for your shoulders and your upper body before you do this workout. And I will include uh, warm-up exercises on this video for you if you're not familiar with them. So, and the other thing is, if you have any kind of shoulder pain beforehand, I don't want you to do it. And if you've any kind of shoulder pain while you're doing it, I want you to stop. So I know you have good judgment, and I know you'll use it. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you an exercise, and you're going to perform two sets. Then you're going to rest 60 seconds. Then I'm going to show you the next exercise, and that's two sets. Rest 60 seconds again, and then it's the last exercise. Two sets. And for somebody who's a beginner, then curtail that. I want you to do then one set for each exercise and rest longer in between. So it's for everybody, no matter what level you are. Guys, at a more advanced level, you can make this workout can be really tough. And you can do it at a beginner level or uh, a middle level. Depends where you are with exercise. But there's something for everybody. So my first exercise is called the Arnold Press. And I'm going to use these 10 pound weights. And my uh, hands are face forward. And I'm going to like rotate it up and rotate it back down. I'll step back here. So let me do just like six of them here. And feet are shoulder width apart, knees are slightly bent. Here I am holding them in close. Rotate it up, and I'll rotate it down. And I rotate it up, and back down. And up, and down. I'll do one more here. Rotate it up, and back down. Uh, let me do one a back view for you. Here we go again. Rotate it up, and down. Up, and down. Okay? So that's a really good exercise for like an overhead press. So that's working that top part of your shoulders. All right, now the next exercise is called dumbbell front raise. And that's gonna work right here, that nice area of your shoulders. So I'm gonna demo with eight pound weights. And when you do that too, that also will work your forearm also. So let me grab these. Okay, so now this one, we're gonna hold it in a hammer grip. And we're gonna be down along our sides. Feet are shoulder width apart, and I'm just gonna raise it up. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise it up like shoulder level. All right, so I'm just gonna do a few. And I have to mention, my arms are so sore today. I did yesterday, the day before, this bicep tricep exercise that I did some different exercises I hadn't done lately, and man, am I sore. So I like that though. I like getting sore sometimes. It lets me know I did something. So let's see what I can do with these eight pound weights on my forearm. All right, here we go. I might have to switch to fives. All right, so I'm holding them here along my sides. Feet are slightly bent. Knees are slightly bent, not my feet. And here I am. Reason it up and back down. And back up. And down. Oh, I'm feeling that in my forearm. And up. And down. Okay. I'm going to show you a side view here. So here I am standing, holding along the side. Up. And I raise it down. Up. And down. Your knees are slightly bent because you don't want it to pull on your lower back. So keep that sort of takes the pressure off your lower back by having your knees slightly bent. Okay, that's a good one. So that's dumbbell front raise. And uh, most of these exercises, the rep range is going to be 10 to 12 reps. Okay? So now, the last exercise is called a bent arm lateral raise with external rotation. And just for a minute, let me set these down. What that's gonna work is the sides, but then with the external rotation, that's including a rotator cuff exercise. And you know, when you perform rotator cuff exercises, that is strengthening inside there the rotator cuff area that is prone to injury. And all those other shoulder exercises never touch the rotator cuff area. You have to actually do particular rotator cuff exercises in order to strengthen that. And actually, I am gonna do a video on that sometime with several rotator cuff exercises. But this one will end up at the end with one of them. Okay, so it's bent arm lateral raise with external rotation. Uh, you know, I might demo with the fives because my fives are very sore. So I'm gonna use the fives. So, I'm holding them like this in a hammer grip. And uh, I'll have to show you a side view again. How, because like you're sort of leaning, your legs are bent, you're sort of leaning a little bit. And I'm holding them in here. And then I'm going to, let me just do it and then I'll tell you what I did. Let me do it first. So here I am. Out, pull it up. Drop it back here. Pull it back in. Out, and I stop at each point and that's how you do it so what I'm doing is and let me show you a side view because in order to get your arms up like that you do need to lean a little bit so I'd be like this standing I'm leaning if I'm sticking my butt out a little bit I'm holding them in here so I can get them up to there Okay, so I'm just showing that position. Come back here too. Pull them in, just leaning a little, butts out. Okay? Okay, so. So, the rotator cuff one, the external rotation is the one that's like this. It is where you want your arm 90 degree wide. See that? You don't want them in here, you want them like a 90 degree wide. And then you drop it down, and you're dropping it down. I gotta, you got to look at it. You know, definitely, typically need to look in a mirror. You're dropping it down like shoulder level. You don't want it down here. So let me show you again. So you're here wide, dropping it 
about here. If it's here, that's too far. It needs to be right about there. So it's a it's a good exercise that when you're doing it, you might want to look in the mirror. Make sure you're doing it properly. So let me go again. Uh, so what I'll do, let me do like six in a row, okay? So you can see how it goes. And we stop at every stop. All right, here we are. Good exercise. Really felt that really nice there on my shoulders. I really like that one. And again, at the end, you're doing the external rotation. That is working that rotator cuff area. So, guys, there you are. So again, you're doing a um, two sets, 60 second rest, two sets, 60 second rest, two sets. You're gonna get a nice, burn in that shoulder muscle. That's what you want. You wait and you look at your shoulders after that, you're gonna have a nice pumped up look. So guys, I know you can do it. So anyway, uh, you need to give me a moment and I have my quotes for you. So my first quote is, it's only by risking our persons from one hour to another that we live at all. So, be a risk taker. That's the only way you're gonna get anywhere in life. And my other quote is, make no little plans. It has no magic to stir men's blood. So, think big. And that way you can be successful in life. So, until next time, ta-ta!